What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today I wanted to talk about silver and also gold, but more specifically I wanted to talk about the coins, rounds, and bars that have different security features which make stacking a little bit safer. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos, subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos, get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club for giveaways, live streams, deal alerts, and a whole lot more. And of course, last but not least, go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. Refer three friends this month, and they're going to give you at least $150 worth of Amazon stock for free. Everything is linked in the description. So today is Saturday, January 29th, 2022. Got mixed up. I'm actually filming this video on Tuesday the 25th. And being that I'm filming the video a couple days in advance, I have no idea what the spot price is going to be by the time the video drops. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. So today, I wanted to talk about a couple of different coins, rounds, and bars that have different types of security features or anti-counterfeit technology or proof of authenticity, things like that. Things that you can rest assured is real. And I wanted to start off by talking about types of coins that do not have security features. And I'll make this very quick. I wanted to start off by talking about different coins from different countries. I'm based here in the US, thank God. So I wanted to talk about some pre-65 or even the pure silver, the silver eagle or anything, doesn't matter. An American coin. It might not have a security feature. It might not have any proof of authenticity. It might not have anything like that, but in a weird way, even though it technically doesn't have a security feature, one could actually argue that being minted by a sovereign government is a security feature right there. Being that you can't duplicate or replicate or counterfeit money or currency. You can't do that. It's incredibly, incredibly illegal. If you replicate a silver rounder bar, it's immoral. It's frowned upon, but if you were to replicate a coin or a dollar bill, money, currency, anything like that, and play it off as though it's real, massive, massive, massive problem. You can't just go and take a piece of metal that's silver in color and create your own quarters. You can't just go and print your own dollar bills. You can't do that. It's an incredibly screwed up greedy and harmful thing to do, which is why the government does it all the time, they don't want you stealing their thunder. So away from coins that don't have security features, I want to talk about a few that do. And I want to start off by talking about this one right here. This is a 2021 Britannia, the beautiful Britannia. I should absolutely have so many of these. This is the only one that I have. I only have one one tenth ounce gold Britannia, and I don't have any silver Britannias. It's ridiculous. I love this coin so much. It's probably one of my top three pure silver slash gold coins right now, and this is the only one that I have. Now, specifically, the 2021 and 2022 Britannias are the ones that have the new security feature. If you want to see it, I got to zoom in. It's a very small feature on a very small coin. That right down there in the bottom left, that circle, that's the security feature. It's like this little hologram feature where if it's angled a certain way, let me see if I can get it to focus. That's, it looks all right. See how it has the trident symbol right there? And if you angle it another way, I think in a downward, yep, there we go. It turns into a padlock. I'm a huge fan of this security feature. And I'm not going to go on a whole rant, but I will say this. The U.S. Mint should have taken notes. This is something that they should have implemented to the Type 2 Silver Eagle. Shouldn't have had a design change. They should have added a security feature to it. Something like this. Incredibly difficult to replicate. 
Looks awesome if you ask me. And it's safe. Moving on to the next security feature I wanted to talk about today. It would have to be sunshine minting products. Sunshine rounds, sunshine bars. These are really cool, especially the newer ones, because if you flip them over, they have, man, I always do this. They have security feature right there in the dead center. Now, by zooming in, it's not like the Britannia. It's not like you can just, like, turn it a certain way. No, you actually need something in addition to the piece of metal. You need to have a decoder lens. Now, these are not expensive. These are probably, like, $15, I think. I got mine a couple of years ago. I think they're only, like, $10, $15, maybe $20. I have no idea. But the good news is they're not paper-thin, flimsy little piece of plastic. No, it's actually pretty thick. And I've been saying for a couple of years now, this should in theory last forever as long as you don't snap it in half. I want to retract my statement because even if you do snap it in half, it can still be used. In fact, if you snap it in half, then you'll have two because it's not like a certain point on this lens is what you need. No, you can do it anywhere on here. Let me show you as an example. I don't know how well it'll work on a capsulated round. I know you can do it. It just might be kind of difficult to see. If it doesn't work right off the bat, then I will switch on over to a bar instead. It doesn't really look like... Let me do it off camera. There we go. It's kind of tough to see on camera. I don't know if you can tell. I'll do it on here instead. Check this out. It says the word valid right there. All you have to do is put the lens over top. And like I said before, it's not just one section of the lens. See over here to the left, still works. Over here to the right, still works. What about underneath the lettering? I don't know if you can see. Still works. What about in the top corner? Still works. So like I said, if you snap this in half, then you'll have two lenses, it doesn't really matter. So. It's an incredible security feature as far as I'm concerned. If it's a sunshine product, it'll have this on the back. You can just scan over top and boom, it says the word valid. And what's cool about sunshine products is that it doesn't just have to be the standard sunshine round or standard sunshine bar. It doesn't just have to look like this, any of these, as long as it has that security feature on the back. Sunshine has other products as well that still have the security feature. For example, Sunshine has their own Walking Liberty silver round. You flip it over, boom, security feature. Sunshine also has their version of the Buffalo. You flip it over, boom, security feature. And guess what? The lens works exactly the same. You put it over top, valid. You put it over top, boom, valid. Thank you, Lon, for sending this one my way. Sunshine rounds and sunshine bars are incredible. I've always been a huge fan. I love the way they look. I love that security feature. I love the decoder lens. It's just an all-around win. Now I wanna talk about one last coin. And by the way, before I do, let me just say that there are other types of security features as well, including ones that are on coins, rounds, and bars that I don't even own. The RCM bar, for example, those have a serial number. They're serialized. That's another type of security feature. I'm a big fan of that. I love them. I don't have any. I would like to change that as soon as possible. I've always wanted an RCM bar. I've been saying since, I think, 2018. Here we are in 2022. I still don't friggin' have one can't believe it. But here's the last one I want to talk about. The Type 2 Silver Eagle. If you've been stacking for any amount of time at all, you'll know what the American Silver Eagle is. And for the longest time, decades, we had the Type 1 Silver Eagle. This is the Type 2. It was released last year in 2021, and this is just our Silver Eagle from here on out. I'll hold back my thoughts on the design because that's not what we're talking about here, but 
The idea was to implement a security feature. Anti-counterfeit technology, proof of authenticity. Now, like I said before, they could have gone with security feature like the Britannia, that circle in the bottom left. In fact, they could have done something nearly identical in the same spot, inside the sun right there. Tell me that wouldn't have been perfect. But no, that's not what the U.S. Mint decided to do. The U.S. Mint decided to take something away as a form of adding something to it. Addition by subtraction. They added a security feature by removing one of the reeds from the top of the coin. I don't know if you can really see. Yeah, you can see that. See that right there? See that missing reed? That would be the security feature. According to the U.S. Mint, evidently no one else in the world has the ability to create rounds and bars and coins with one less read. I don't really understand either, but according to the U.S. Mint, that's a security feature. And apparently there's stuff about the coin that we don't even really know about, which is a little bit weird to think about because I've had this coin in my possession for, at this point, I think just about a year. I'm not a fan of this new security feature. I'm a fan of security features. I just don't really understand how this is a security feature. Unfortunately, I spent years being a massive fan of the Silver Eagle. I'm not a fan of how it looks, and I'm not a fan of this new security feature, so I've kind of stepped away from the Silver Eagle. This was the last one that I picked up. I picked up a handful of Type 2s, just really just to make a video about it, and I thought it might be kind of cool to have a, a couple in my possession. I got one a couple. Uh, I got one a year ago, or a handful of them about a year ago, and I haven't gotten any more since. And I fully intend on keeping it that way. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. When it comes to different types of security features on different types of silver and gold coins, rounds, and bars, is that what you look for in a piece of precious metal? Do you? purposely or intentionally go after coins, rounds, or bars that have layers of security, whether it be some type of anti-counterfeit technology or a serial number or something that requires a decoder lens or something like that, head on down to the comments and let me know. If you guys like today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel. Got t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, coffee mugs in a bunch of different designs. DYDSS store will be linked in the description. Come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club for giveaways every single month, live streams multiple times a week, deal alerts every single day. You can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. And I just posted a brand new adventure vlog. And there are a ton of other perks as well. VIP club link in the description. And then of course, last but not least, make sure to go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. They'll give you two free stocks just for doing so. And then if you go and tell three friends about the app this month, they're going to give you $150 at least worth of Amazon stock for free with the chance of winning all the way up to $3,000 worth of Amazon stock. All you got to do is click that little invite button, send it to three people that you know, bing, bang, boom. That's it. That's all. Don't pass up on an opportunity. We will link in the description. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, when it comes to different types of security features, what's your favorite? Do you typically go after coins, rounds, and bars that have security features? I personally do. If I'm going to go after a coin, I would prefer to have it some type of layer of security. When it comes to rounds and bars, I'm a big fan of sunshine for reasons that I explained in the video. The decoder lens, big fan. When it comes to all of the different types of security features that I showed in this video, which is your favorite? And if there's anything that I didn't show off in this video related to security features or anti-counterfeit technology or anything like that, head on down to the comments and let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.